What's going on guys, it's me Plasky Games here, and today I am fetching you guys a squad builder, which is a kind of hybrid, it is a hybrid actually, with three leagues, Liga Santander, the Premier League, and the Calcio A. Starting off in goal, we do have the French keeper, Steam Andanda. I actually haven't played with him, but looking at them stats on Mandanda, he looks like a fucking beast, and he was just like the cheap Loris, I think. Now in centre back, <coughs> from Chelsea, we have the one, the only, who I think is going to be a beast in the future, Kurt Zuma. I use this guy on every FIFA that I've had a Premier League team on, which is every FIFA, that he's actually been at Chelsea. He's been an all-round solid player. As I said, I haven't played with this team yet, and I actually haven't played with him this FIFA yet, so I'm looking forward to be using him. And in his centre-back um, in his centre back partnership, we do go with another French um, centre-back, but from the Liga Santander, you probably guess, actually you probably haven't because loads, but uh, originally I've got these three. I went with Umtiti in the centre-back position to help him out right there. Looking at Untiti's thing as a defender, the only thing that lets him down is probably his physical by just a tiny little bit. To be a defender, I think you need at least 83 physical. That make you decent as you real out strength for strikers. But you never know, I haven't used this team, so I don't know what to expect. In the right back position, I do go with Ivanovic. Now, he's got a fucking solid um, card, I think. 86 defender and 84 physical. That's what you want on the defender. That's fucking class. The only thing that lets him down is probably his pace. Now, I've grew up watching Ivanovic, like, the years he's been at Chelsea. He's been one of my favourite right backs in the Premier League all his fucking career, really, in the Prem. So, I went with Ivanovic because I've watched him and I think he's just a solid defender and he has been for years. In the left back position, we do go with uh, Calcio's uh, X Man United player. X Man United fucking legend, more like it. Patrice Evra. Now, there's nothing wrong with this card except the physical, in my opinion. Um, he could do with a little more pace, that'll make him a perfect card, but 83 defended. The first centre mid of the squad, I'll go with Rafinha or Casemiro. Now, in the squad, I have actually got Rafinha. And all together, he's been in one of my other teams and he's got all around stats which I think are good and he's a very good player in my opinion. He's played 21 games for me, he's got 3 goals and got 6 assists and 3 yellow cards which shows he is an aggressive player as well as a decent player. And he only cost me 1.5k, I would really recommend getting him in your squads if you're looking for a cheap um, centre mid to get that you can put in loads of high bridge as well. In the other centre mid position, I could choose between Allen and Hernanes. Personally, I have worked with Hernanes in this squad, uh, he's a very good player, I haven't used him yet this FIFA but I'm looking forward to be playing with him, especially for only 1k, it, it, by looks of him, he's going to be a fucking beast for me, look at them stats, he's just like, they're alright for a midfielder to be honest, 84 passing, he'll be putting the balls through with the strikers, it'd be absolutely immense. In the right centre mid position, I have went with Oscar, look at them stats, that's average, for the 83 rated, that's an average card right there, with the powerhouse on him as well. Now, Oscar's only been in the Premier League a few years, and I remember in one of his first seasons, I was just like, this kid has got some fucking talent in him. And he's been one of the best centre mids the Premier League's got, in my opinion, but the best centre mid the Premier League has ever seen, well, this past year, I'd say it's been Coutinho personally, but I obviously haven't got the coins for Coutinho. And yeah, I just wanted to use Oscar as I've never used him in a FIFA. So Oscar's in his squad there. Now, the first striker I have went with is Backer. Now this guy only cost me 2k, but when I was looking before, his prices went up to near enough six. I don't know if it, like someone's trying to price cap him or what, but if you look at his, this, yeah, he's around 6k, the 6 6k mark, let's say about 5.5 really. But I haven't used Baka yet, I have used Nian, who I did use with a partnership with Baka last FIFA. As you guys will have seen in one of my squad builders, I think. But looking at them stats, 85 pace and 81 shooting, with 74 physical, which is average. Yeah, I just can't wait to use him. And personally, I think he should be at 82 rate, not an 84. Looking at them stats. In striker with Baka is indeed Alexander Pato. I think he's got Alexander. Yeah, he's got Alexander. Uh, yeah, 
86 pace, 78 shooting, which is quite decent, with 80 dribbling as well, so hopefully I'll be able to take it past defenders just by fucking sprinting with the ball. There's a reason I've left the camp position to last, by the way, because he's a big player. Um, yeah, I've never used Pato in any FIFA, I don't think, but I have traded with him, and it did pay off. Not this FIFA, but a few FIFAs back, but I've definitely not used him, I don't think. So, I'm looking forward to using him for the first time. Now, the camp position. I didn't I, I actually buy this player because I didn't have the coins. It is James Rodriguez. This guy is about 65 to 70k. But when this video is up, it'll put, well, actually, after Christmas, sorry, this whole team here, it's probably going to cost you about about 70, 70 to 75k for this whole team. Now this team is indeed just under 100k when I bought it, but Hamas Rodriguez, he looks solid, the passing on him, where's the passing at? <laughs> the passing's good, so hopefully he'll be able to feed through balls to Baka and Pato, no problem. So yeah, I can't wait to use this team, in fact I'm going to head into a game now, this is going to be different than the other squad build I've uploaded on my channel, this is going to show the game and not just highlights, uh, and you're going to leave a comment saying which you prefer the highlights of the game. So there's that guy's team, ooh, fucking hell, that is decent actually. It's a good team, but uh, you never know, I might beat it actually. Also, there's no face cam in this video because the camera's actually on charge. Um, because me and Kyle are fetching back a series that we done ages ago, and by ages ago, I mean FIFA 15, I think it was FIFA 15, any odds? Yeah. Only long-term subscribers will know what series that is, what me and Carl's done. And by long-term, I mean you come from my other channel. Now, let's go. First game with this team. I'm hoping for, like, a decent result. We've got a throw-in deep into this guy's half already. That's good. Like, come on. Keep the pressure on him. Put the ball there. Play it back. Hit it! Oh, that's unlucky. That is very unlucky. Go on, backer. You know what? Put it there. Put it through. Now, hit it! Hit it! Oh, my God! Rodriguez! You all seen the bar then? I think I put literally full power into that and you seen the shot? Wow! That's a great save. Put the ball there. Right. Oh, go on. We've got him here. We should have him. Put it away. Uh, it's 1 0 up, peg leg. I don't care if it's a sweaty goal. You did see the points I was on before, I've got fucking 6 in 4 games, with 3 draws and 1 win. But I'll take the goal. You know what, Rafinha? Oh, that's so unlucky. It's it. Oh. We're making chances, we're just not taking them, and the only one we took is a sweaty goal, so... Oh no. Go on MTE. Oh, he's done his. No, no. Great save, Mandanda. Nice one, two. Out oh, overlap. Go on, go on, Rodriguez. Back post. Oh, you bastard! That should have been two nil. Oh, I'm looking again, Rodriguez, lad. You get your goal this match. Trust me. Go on. Oh, tap in. Yes. It, right, two nil up just before half time. To be honest, this could be more. I, have you seen um, most of my chances? But obviously, he could have a goal as well. I'll take a tap in because I am desperate for points in Division Five at the moment. Also, guys, I'm considering on making a Twitter, but yeah, I don't know whether to. But um, I'm starting to advertise myself on um, Instagram and that as well when I upload. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description. Oh, go on! Oh, half time of this game, and we have absolutely annihilated it. Possession's been ours, the shots have been ours, but yeah, I need to shoot a lot closer to the goal if you look at that. That's what I do in every game and my mates complain about it. You know who you are, Adam. Um, can we make it free? Can we put the game to bed? Yes, we can. No, we can't. What the hell? What a save. 
What a tackle. And well shielded off Ivanovic. That's well out. Right. Can we get the third goal to put the game to bed? Because 20 minutes on FIFA actually lasts a long time. I don't want him getting any momentum because I just know I'll cock it up. Oh no. What a tackle. No, referee, there was nothing wrong with that. Don't you dare give me a red. He's gonna give us red for that, eh? Hey. Oh, what a dickhead. There was nothing wrong with that tackle. Oh my god. There was actually nothing wrong with that. Go defensive. For the last 14 minutes. Try to sail off the win. If he decides to take his free kick, like. Right, blocked by the wall. Right, and Mandanda's got it, so... Right. There's actually nothing wrong with that tackle, though. Oh, no. No, keep him there, keep him there. Oh, he's fucking makes this. He's played it across. And we've got it out, that's a fucking class interception. I didn't even intercept it, I must have edited it onto him. Well, that means I would have intercepted it, but... I didn't think, like... I thought I got a touch on that, definitely. I wanted the first ball to go to fucking Everett. Oh no! He's missed. He saved it, Mandanda, you warrior. Thank God for that. You know what? Hit it! Oh, what a finish, backer! 3 0. That was fucking lovely, that. Kicks the corner flag. It's like he kicked that ball in the back of the net. I want to see that again from this angle. That's a lovely layoff. First time. Far top corner. Bang. It's in. 3 0 to the peg leg. Backer with two. Paddle with one. That's what you want. Your strikers scoring them every match. So, guys, there's the game over. We have won 3 0. Personally, that was a solid team. And I enjoy playing with it. We do get man of the match with Paddle. Backer with two. On the edge of uh, being both halves finished, he scored in 45th minute, he scored in the 90th minute, and Pato with one. Um, goal assist, Pato got one and Rodriguez got one, which I'm happy about because Rodriguez, that's what I want him for. I want him to put the balls through to the strikers. So personally, I would give that team for that performance, I'd say, oh, about a 7 or an 8 out of 10, but we do get 748 match coins. With the 200 bu coin boost, so that's 546. But look at them stats. He did get back into it the second half a bit. But personally, I think we deserved that win, and it could have been even more. But we battered the game. We came out with the three points, and we came out with three goals. Alright, guys, it's been me, Plasky Games. If you did enjoy the, this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try and upload a lot more often now. Um, yeah, this is going to be the second upload in two days, if like I get it done in time. And tomorrow I'm going to try and release the first episode of the new series that I'm doing with Kyle. So it's been me, Plasky Games, and peace.